and noisy and I mean in this situation that's not really what you're looking for so when the color is down no reverb and the more we open the sound we open also the space of it which is gonna be pretty big that is also pretty useful because if you play like this it will uh, automatically like keep everything mono in a, in a way and the reverb is not uh, going after um, when you when you push this one down there is no delay yeah if that makes sense um, let's push that up um, I wanna increase the bend sweep So yeah, it, it can be pretty useful. To to with two knobs having this kind of uh, effect, you can add on top. If you want to clean it, you can also add a low pass, also triggered by the color. But we still hear this kind of, which is not really pleasant. So we might change the amp too, so that when we press, we press the note, we don't hear anything. And there you go. This can be very useful uh, to help rise something. For example, on this. So basically, any net we play, we don't care. It is not key sensitive. So any key you press is going to play the same way because it's white noise basically. And the feedback and we're going to click on this little arrow, click on configure and get the two macros out. So now we can use those and write some uh, useful middle curve um, let's start with the color we're gonna make some kind of boom so we want the color to be all up and go down until around there and then go back up fully and we're gonna let it like shine afterward I'm not gonna cut uh, the sound. It can be nice, it can help to make the transition between the two parts. Uh, let's make those curves pretty curvy. And there you go, <laughs> you have a pretty decent effect. This one is pretty low action. And yeah, it's really more of a bass than anything. This is just like yeah the the bass and the soundscape behind uh, all your tune. So for instance, uh, now if I want to make 
something more rising here without the boom I just take this put it there As I said, I, I consider this uh, more like a bass, uh, so it's really low. You don't really hear it, but uh, after the mastering stage and everything, and when you hear that on the system, it's gonna color the sound a lot and help uh, all the other effects to stand out. this instance I want it to get pretty hard so that when it goes, when it drops here, everything gets. So let's check if that's working. something pretty cool for that which is the Ryzen 8 library so basically it's a bank with uh, rises and it's <laughs> it's pretty simple but on this part you get the, the it's and on this the rise you also have a few parameters you can change and there is a lot of them and you can uh, layer different sounds to get uh, this kind of building, rising, eating stuff <laughs> so we're gonna check into the void uh, because we're gonna really sample that so we just want a, a base something that is are all like already looking interesting yeah something like this uh, but we're gonna make it longer 32 as you see it's really long maybe 16 beats will be better And yeah, we can just resample that and apply uh, some of the techniques we saw earlier. I mean, the structure in Ableton is pretty fun to play with. Uh, it can give you a lot of granular sound, but um, for this we're gonna do something more. I guess, I mean, I've actually no idea. <laughs> we don't see. Okay, gonna keep this. As I only want this one, you know what, I'm gonna freeze. It's a pretty short one. And yeah. yeah, it's the same. Yeah. 
Oh, it's cool. There is a lot of low ends. And we are going to push this one up. As I said, it's gonna be more in the mid info, so I'm gonna try not give it more presence already. It's also a bit low. <laughs> Be loud, so same kind of treatment uh, but the difference will be that yeah we're gonna try to keep this low and also gonna saturate it Text. Interesting, definitely, to hear. 